In Xiaoyu Yuan's article, Panda Not Dragon, Why the Rise of China is Not a Threat, the author challenges the prevailing narrative that China's ascent on the global stage poses a significant threat to the existing world order. Yuan argues that the West's perception of China as a menacing dragon is misguided and that a more nuanced understanding of China's rise is necessary. Through a combination of historical context, economic analysis, and cultural insights, Yuan presents a compelling case for re-evaluating our perspective on China's rise. Yuan begins by highlighting the historical context of China's rise, emphasizing that China has historically been a major global power for centuries. This historical perspective is crucial in countering the fear that many in the West have about China's rapid ascent. Yuan argues that China's historical prominence in the world should not be perceived as inherently threatening but rather as a re-emergence of its historical role. One of the central arguments put forth by Yuan is that China's rise is primarily driven by economic growth and development, not military expansion or imperial ambitions. The author points out that China's focus on economic development and trade has been a key driver of its success. Yuan highlights China's efforts to engage in international trade and investment, portraying China as a panda that seeks cooperation and mutual benefit rather than a dragon that seeks domination. Moreover, Yuan argues that China's commitment to economic development is rooted in its domestic priorities, such as poverty reduction and improving living standards for its citizens. This perspective challenges the notion that China's rise is solely aimed at challenging Western hegemony. By emphasizing China's domestic concerns, Yuan suggests that China's intentions are not inherently hostile but are, in fact, driven by a desire to improve the well-being of its people. The author also delves into cultural factors that influence China's approach to international relations. Yuan contends that Chinese culture places a strong emphasis on harmony and stability, which contrasts with the Western view of competition and conflict. This cultural insight sheds light on why China's rise may not necessarily translate into a desire for global dominance. Yuan argues that a deeper understanding of Chinese culture can help bridge the gap in perception between China and the West. Furthermore, Yuan addresses the issue of China's military expansion. While acknowledging China's military modernization efforts, the author argues that these efforts are primarily defensive in nature, aimed at safeguarding China's territorial integrity and national security. Yuan contends that China's military posture is not indicative of aggressive intent towards other nations but is instead a response to perceived security threats. In conclusion, Xiaoyu Yuan's article challenges the prevailing narrative of China as a menacing dragon and offers a compelling argument for viewing China's rise as a panda, driven by economic development, cultural values, and domestic priorities. Yuan's historical context, economic analysis, and cultural insights provide a well-rounded perspective on China's ascent on the global stage. By reframing the discussion around China's rise, the author encourages a more balanced and nuanced understanding of China's role in the world. This article serves as a valuable contribution to the ongoing debate about China's rise and its implications for global politics and security.